the A harmonic minor. G sharp. Red F and red G sharp. So there's no blue G and there's no orange F sharp. So there's a lot of red spice. The red color theory is that in this lava system is that the red is really tense. So when you hear this, that F note sounds tense over A minor and so does the G sharp. is what we call the leading tone, where it's tense and it wants to come back to the A to resolve, which is blue. A, wherever you find your A, is going to be the most resolved blue sound. And then G sharp, the red one, is quite tense. That's the leading tone. It's one fret behind A. Um, so that is the A harmonic minor scale. Let's play it up one string, because you could do a one string solo or you could do certain position solos. I'm showing you the whole chart, but the breakdowns can be done in lessons. Send me a message and I've got just a few spots left if you want to have some more ideas on how to break things down in a, in a really good practical one-on-one -on -one way with feedback from me live um, on Zoom. Uh, there's a few in-person spots as well, but check this out. So if you go on the A string, you play the A string open. The second fret is B. Third fret is C. Fifth fret is D. Seventh fret is E. Eighth fret is F. That's our red one. That's an essential note in the harmonic minor. Then we skip one, two, three frets up. We land on fret 11 now. That's right behind your two dots. Fret 11 is the red G sharp, and then you end on fret 12, the A. You notice the scale is alphabetical, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, then the G sharp, A. When we go from A to A, we completed the whole pattern. And honestly, the whole guitar in this scale is just that, but it's all over the place in different areas. Going up the string can be quite easy to see the stepwise linear approach where it, it you're just adding up the frets, right? So again, on here, you've got your harmonic minor, A, open, B fret two, C fret three, D fret five, E fret seven, F fret eight, skip all these two, land on the next fret over, fret 11, G sharp, fret 12 is A. And a recap on your fretboard charts. It's really good to print these out, a blank one, and then you draw in the color system here, and that helps you memorize it with your own mental models and fret maps. Just reading these isn't as efficient, efficient for memorization as when you start drawing in your own, right? It's kind of like if you were to do, um, try to learn math, just reading the math isn't the same as like working it out with a, a pencil. I'm big on colors because I think with the color theory, you can see the patterns and pattern recognition, I find really helps pull out these concepts in a way that makes sense. Cause I mean, this is a ton of frets and, and strings, right? It can be overwhelming, but if you make a pattern and color code it, you can start to see where it is. And if you start playing with it, you know, going up and down, improvising, doing some repetitions, making music out of it, trying to make it sound like singing, you start to get to know your way around. It's just a map. It's just a map of, of imagine this is a town, but these are, these are frets. Um, it's like little places in the town, uh, different streets, different homes, different places, and you're just going up and down and getting used to it. So the more experience you have going around in the area and, and recognizing the names of things, the more you kind of get familiar with it, right? Experience, I think it's very true in guitar, is kind of like 
how we really get knowledge. It's not just from reading about it. It's we have to do it, right? So, um, but there's ways to make it fun. So I really like this. You get to be creative. And here's one of the lava challenges. So A harmonic minor, you can play all the blue notes. You can play just on that one scale if you want. A on that one string. C, E, and A. Those are the blues. The greens are the same as the other A scales. B is fret two. D is fret five. Our reds are fret eight for the F and fret 11 for the G sharp. So if we make a solo on that string, I can pick through all these notes. You could go forwards and then go back and forth, kind of like you're skipping around an obstacle course. But you notice how the missing spaces, I'm trying not to play those because that would be out of the scale. So as you move around, we pause every once in a while so it sounds kind of like someone talking or singing. Singing is like talking. But when people talk, usually they take little pauses, right? So play a bunch of notes, pause, and go up, go down, make a pattern. How many different ways can you play these notes? And then you can also explore with the tension, right? Blue is more resolved, green is less resolved, orange, actually there's no orange on the scale, but red is quite tense, and the red often if you want that tension to go away, it comes back to a blue. Um, so that's the jam. Try playing softer, playing louder, faster, slower. Hold notes for a long time. You know, sometimes we don't always have to play really loud and hard or fast. We can play whatever we want. Just like if you were to sing or talk, you could talk dynamically. You could talk fast, you could talk slow, you could talk quietly, you could talk loud. Right? Just try to make the guitar kind of like your voice. Um, experiment and have fun. But again, it's not just randomness. There's some order, there's some structure in the fact that we're finding this pattern. But you get to improvise, right? Because you get to create with it. You could be very you know, systematic and, you know, a lot of the systematic breakdowns is really good to do in person lessons. So, or on online lessons, I'm doing those on Zoom. Reach out to me and uh, we can look at a plan to help you break down, you know, certain things that may be specific to you to help you improve uh, in, in any area that you want with guitar. I've been doing it for, for many years. I'm really passionate about music and guitar. Um, it's, it's not a job. I, I work as a musician and a teacher, but it's it's my joy, it's my passion. I, I do it for for fun too, you know, I, I enjoy it. And it's kind of like an endless pursuit of, of different things. I'm not just trying to copy other people's music, I'm trying to be free at improvising and creating and jamming and and kind of understanding how music works and and trying to, to make it in my own way and, and maybe use similar principles or foundations that are maybe use the elements or the ingredients of other songs. So part of that is the scales or the, the tones and we've color system them here, Red is Lava. So like, share, subscribe, tell your friends. Um, the fall um, season's coming up really quick for booking lessons and there's only a few spots left reach out to me and we can book you in. All right, guys, have fun.